What's going on guys? This is Empty Box. And this is R Factor 2 where today we're mixing and mashing mods for Ultimate Sports Car Racing Goodness. And today we're gonna be driving the Endurance Series Gibson 015 SP2 alongside uh, the various other cars of the Endurance Series P2 class as well as the United Racing Designs PX and EGT packages to complete the field. Basically give us the closest thing to a WEC game that you're going to have anytime soon. Now the United Racing Designs PX and EGT packages are payware uh, packages with various different cars, whereas the Endurance Series is free and available on the Steam Workshop. And I highly recommend that you go ahead and grab that. But, uh, all of the P2 cars except for that... Uh, the, the Straka car, which should be, you know, in theory, the Straka dome, but the dome P2 car doesn't exist, so it's been ported onto the Orica P2 car. That car, in particular, is from the PX packages, where all, all the other P2 cars are from the Endurance Series mod. Alongside the prototypes here that we're racing with, the uh, Endurance Series mod does also come with a couple of GT cars. However, those are from uh, generally around the 2010 season. You know, for example, the M3 GTE, the uh, Porsche 997 RSR, as well as the F430. A little bit of contact there. That's one thing with Heart Factor 2. Whenever I play any other games, I just don't even worry about the AI when they're behind me. But in this game, you can't do that. It just will not let you get away with it. But I also want to uh, mention that I am using a skin pack in this video for the United Racing Designs cars, the GT cars, as well as the P1 cars that will probably come through and lap us at some point in this race. But you can find a link for that in the description. And it's actually really nice because this guy's gone through and compiled all the skins uh, required to uh, complete the grid, as well as he's added class filter so it's really easy to select you know, both the Endurance, or the United Racing cars, as well as the Endurance Series cars, and just select it by season, by uh, series, and just get exactly what you want. Which is just fantastic. So really, R Factor 2, tailor-made for Endurance Racing, with its feature set, and then you add in you know, top-notch content for it like this. You're good to go. I will say you really got to wheel these P2 cars in this mod. They're so instantaneous, so reactive. You're just constantly, you're almost constantly sliding, but you got tons of grip. You are in grip, but you're just working to keep the car balanced.
driving these things equal parts with your uh, with your hands as well as with your feet just to make sure that the car is going in the right direction and it really is a very satisfying feeling. doing a 15 lap race you'll see the readout there on the uh, display so we can keep track of how far into the race we are but, uh, but a contact but I do have five times times acceleration enabled can't remember if I said that or not already but I just did so now you guys know hopefully we'll get into the darkness after all. Headlights! <laughs> like I said, you just can't forget about them because they'll just charge right up the inside. Got our first bit of GT traffic. Haha. So you give her being a douche. <laughs> Slam one up the inside. I'm just going to use that GT car to box you in. I will say the uh, one of the big things with the R Factor One version, uh, if you really want to call it that, of this mod, it was a different mod, obviously with a very different selection of cars, but is by the same team. Was that the uh, prototypes were always unable to uh, pass the GT cars efficiently? Unfortunately, with R Factor 2's AI, they do a much better job. Obviously, nowhere close to uh, the ability to you know slice through traffic as a human, but much better, much improved. So we got to remember to protect the inside here. attention to the road. Uh, we're, if this were an online race, I would just turn the virtual mirror on, but seeing how we're just racing robots. No need any of that. Extra immersion. More fun. Not a brake zone. 130R is not a brake zone. Woo. And the thing is, the uh, green AstroTurf is basically the same thing as a gravel trap here in this version of this circuit. So if you touch it, you get sucked into it, and all sorts of chaos results. there.
racetrack lights have come on. So we head on into the evening. For a good run off, there we go. What a block. Too late, though. A little bit of contact. We're through. Catch up to this next guy. Not really sure where the uh, rest of this class is here. I know that's not the class leader because that's 14th position. There's like nobody ahead of him directly at all. Unless they were just that much faster, which I find hard to believe. The GT car is about half lap behind or something. Driving with your right foot through the S's there. Pop this guy up pretty quickly. Looks like some GT traffic there. Go ahead and so the next car in class and set this guy seven seconds up the road. Squared up, box him in. It's still there. <laughs> you can't ask for much better AI performance than that. Somehow factory Corvette behind Privateer Viper. Seems legit. Let's see if we can throw some flyers down. Come 
I can run in the 49s on a clean lap. Remember the button. Shut that off now. So obviously, we will have the advantage in traffic versus the AI. Lights are now required. Let's go ahead and turn those on. Barbara Corvette, a head of factory Corvette, seems legit. Got some Corvette shenaniganry going on here. Most of the GT field, I'd imagine. Time check, still about seven and a half behind. Those really are starting to grow longer and longer. That nice 24 hour day and night cycle. Staying about the same. And more speed. That's not going to do it. Nope, nope, nope. right now a lot of people are saying man my r 2 doesn't look like that you got cheat codes and stuff like that how do you do that first of all run in the evening as well as always add a little bit of cloud coverage it's that simple just a little bit of cloud coverage really does help bring r factor 2's graphics back from eye-bleedingly ugly to at least somewhat passable. So there's your tip for today. We're now running in no man's land pretty firmly. Seriously, if people are going to tell me, oh, this looks absolutely terrible, you know, PS2 graphics. I want to know what PS2 you had. Blue flag, that means a P1 car's coming. Looks 
up one of the Audis. Give him the racing line. Oh, come on. How soon do I need to move? This is sports car racing right here. You got prototypes, you got GT cars, you got cars going in and out of traffic. You don't like that. Something's wrong with you, man. You can see we gained three seconds through all that traffic. So it looks like that should be the... Uh, Next couple of P2 cars going through 130 yard right in front of us. Yeah, two seconds, three seconds. That's next next car for position right in front of us. see the AI is still not perfect when it comes to passing solar class cars but if you're familiar with this mod or or similar for R Factor 1 I'm pretty sure you'll instantly recognize that as a pretty big improvement compared to where they used to be more GT cars Set them up for the exit. No traffic behind. Oh, there is something in my mirrors. It'll look like it's getting bigger. Blue flag. One. So let's let him buy. You can turn the flag warnings off, or the flag rules off entirely, which is something in hindsight I really should have done. Because obviously, I wasn't blocking them. It's just you know the AI isn't isn't perfect. So. It, basically said, hey, you've gone through too many zones. With the flat, faster car behind you, you're ignoring the blue flag. But obviously we weren't doing that. But that's my fault for not turning it off. Looks like this blue car must be damaged. No! No! That just happened. And my tires are all sorts of shot. I'm now driving a Smith mixer. Thanks for the flat spots, dude. 
Thanks for the flat spots. That's not even four position. Nah. Yeah. Steering wheel's just shaking away. On the last lap now. So I'm pretty sure we're on the last lap. Actually, now that I think about it, duh, we're, the race is over. Oh, well, world's fastest cool down lap. So obviously, the leader did 15 laps, but we only did 14 because we got lapped in the process. I'm still going to catch up to this guy. I'm still going to pass him, give him peace of mind. <laughs> These tires are just, just... It really is like driving a cement mixer. Flat spots are fun! Yay! Need for speedway through 130. 130R there. Whee! <laughs> uh. Alrighty, that's that though. That's the uh, Endurance Series mod for R Factor 2 alongside the uh, United Racing Designs PX and EGT packages. It's not perfect, but it's still the closest thing to a WEC or. Uh, ALMS, I guess, from the last few years of that series. ELMS, or uh, Wilma Outright, you know. It's as good as you're going to get for that, and it's a great home for for these types of cars here in R Factor 2, so give it a go. Try it out. It's fun. It's a blast. Hope you guys enjoyed. Right, bye.